I've just walked out of our meeting with the federal government to find out about the draft maps for the southwest of Western Australia. This is the federal government's proposal of how they plan to protect marine life in this region for generations to come. It's the moment we've been working together for three years, three long hard years of campaigning. Now this isn't just about the southwest of Western Australia, it's also about the rest of Australia. After the southwest, the government will do the north, then they'll do the north the northwest and the east regions of Australia, a new network of protection right around Australia. As we know, our marine life has been in serious decline. Uh, we've seen 90% of the large fish disappear from our oceans. Uh, the southwest is critical to whales, and we've seen blue whales are now at 2% still of their pre-whaling levels. More needs to be done to protect our oceans. Every year, seals die in fishing nets, dolphins die in fishing nets, and our fish populations continue to decline, with large fish disappearing from our oceans. We've also seen the expansion of the oil and gas industry in Australia's waters and into the southwest, where it has never been seen before. We've seen the oil lease off Margaret River threatening our beaches there, oil leases in the Perth Canyon threatening the blue whales. And we know that the risks of oil spills are very real, and that's hit us in the last few years with the massive oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico and off the northwest of Western Australia. Clearly, our marine life needs these safe havens, these marine sanctuaries, where they are free to recover from the impacts of fishing, of oil spills, and even the impending impacts of climate change. So what did we see today? Well, sadly, we haven't seen enough from the government. They've created one large protected area protecting some of the deep water habitats of the south coast, the Diamantina Fracture Zone, Australia's deepest mountain range, biggest mountain range, and the Naturalist Plateau. But there's a strong bias towards those deep regions, and a number of our critical hotspots for marine life remain completely unprotected. Geograph Bay, a critical breeding ground for a number of species, including the West Australian Jewfish, which is in serious decline, and an important resting area for whales. The Perth Canyon, completely unprotected critical habitat for the blue whale and one of only three known feeding grounds in Western Australia. And the Kangaroo Island uh, is the other area, and, and it is also in the southwest. Part of that area is also unprotected. So clearly not enough has been done, but fortunately this is just day one of three months. So our three years is now down to three months. We have three months to turn this decision around. We have three months to build our campaign up and make sure that the Prime Minister Julia Gillard and the Environment Minister Tony Burke hear strongly the voice of the thousands of people around Australia who support marine protection. So we need to make sure that we get that voice to them loud and clear. So we need for everyone to join up for the Big Blue Army and join us in this ride that will be the next three months of campaigning for Save Our Marine Life and make sure that in three months' time we have the sanctuaries in these new marine parks that will ensure the protection of our marine life for generations to come.